On the busy streets of downtown Spokane, you expect to hear the commotion of the city. But three years ago, it all went silent when the state went into lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's not normal to go into like a busy place, park your car somewhere in the middle of the street and just walk around like it's yours. This became James Kennedy's playground. I got these places to myself. The last time he stood at this corner, Spokane looked like a ghost town. I think I put my camera right here, put it on my timer, then walked right into the street and did the whole thing. Dude, this is like six o'clock in the afternoon where things like should have been completely, you know, full of traffic and people. There was something about it where I had to drive that point home. It's like, I am the only one here. He wandered over to Riverfront Park. Basically from here, over there was empty. Then pointed his lens down Monroe Street Bridge. Like why wouldn't you go out in the middle of a bridge that was completely empty? As a photographer, that's like gold. But the streets aren't empty anymore. And the difference is night and day. There's no way I'm going out there now, but it was cool at the time. James returns to his once empty playground, relieved to hear the commotion again. The place is vibrant. I mean, people are walking around. It doesn't look like there was a nuclear blast that went along here or anything like that. It's a different playground now. It tells me that we made it, we got through. But it's the kind of playground this photographer is happy to see. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.